on my honor. An elf sauna worth less than a man shit. You seek someone, stranger? It's Camelot. Uh, go with it. She brought tea to the stomach. Oh, another night yeah. of going up to me. Control what I inherit, deeds, but, but you the can madam, control what you do well, with it. You know. I know, I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh. What was that about? She spat in my face, or might as well have called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it, and why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. They need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Get this cabaret idea. It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. the Vivaldi's would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. Know what he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is way too high. But I have another idea. I dated this girl once. Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father. Importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? I knew I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know, no matter what you might think. Fine, tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting, but with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Got a snake's plan as well. Oh, man, Newman, I'll give you a discount for her own deeds, but the Madame, well... What's he schemed up this time? Last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? 
Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. Just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea with mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he, Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. I've got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wade, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arse white won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Ah, 
so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But? No time, Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, 
I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? Baths are silk. I highly recommend you visit. What's he doing here? I did not know she dealt in magic. Ignorance don't wipe away your guilt. Then what? What does? I am only five. Oh, my God. Oh, she she retires. Fire. A killer prowls the city, but you're not scared, are you? Old man Newman left me a gift last time. But Madam, well, he never now. given me nothing but floppy diddly. If you don't know how to give, you can't receive. Saying I'm no good at giving. To give, you got to have talent. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Get up. You've known him longer. Say something. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. 
Both our lives have revolved around the stage. And Cabaret's a form of theatre, in a way. Fine. Let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Oh well, guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who worked for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds, but the madam, well, you know. about Polly and her half-brained fiance they're fighting she's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography and that lummox won't let her work for me oh, oh, hold on what are you doing here we were gonna meet at the rosemary we were but you didn't show Priscilla started to worry so I came to see how you were doing Priscilla started worrying about me that's so nice! Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've gotta help Polly! Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemarian Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Damn it. Not here. Now where would she leave? Not here. Hey. 
find anything? Damn it. Now, where would she leave? Find anything, Geralt? Damn it. Now, where would she leave? What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it. And leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut up, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. So... Pubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlegs. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rodlick. You head back to the Rosemary. Or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No. Said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon.
looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is picked clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! You regret this, mutant! Uh, ah. Shit! Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races! See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Show us what you're bringing in. The light is enough to fit the toys. The fire shall seize the boils. between 
jockey and steed. You'd think well, them a pair of old Seems lovers. Seems you're a considerable sum in the world. Between the cobalt. A trained old shion. Come now, old sports. We can't allow that. Who'd I wager with then, eh? Listen, here's what we'll do. We'll make them. You Rodlick? Henri Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art, at your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. Deluverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Ah! Watch it. Ooh. Gods and Watch men. it. Struck with awe. Behold, madly galloping poetry. On the guards, the worst of thoughts. Let's go scary. kill some monsters. Happiness will come just. today. Then not a director in from Tamaria. Who will you set a play? Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements Ooh. on the wall. Priscilla picked them. Well, I must admit, you have great taste. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Tamarian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. 
premiere will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home from my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? said you've gained some weight, and that you should bathe more often. Very funny, Geralt. Shove it. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Ugh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Ask the dandelion. Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course. Let's go. 